Hey, Sean. All right. Well, hey, if you had co-workers that didn't make it in today, there's a high chance <laughs> they're probably on the golf course. <laughs> Maybe. We've blurred the faces to protect the innocents here uh, just in case. Yeah, it is a great day. Blue sky and temperatures this afternoon right around 70 degrees. Dry air in place. Not much of a wind. Don't no blanket of clouds. So we're dropping right back down mid lower 40s tomorrow morning, but like today, it's going to be a quick warm up and a big warm up too. Uh, we'll start out in the mid 40s. We'll tack on about 30 degrees of warmth with all of the sunshine that we're going to have for tomorrow here. So it will be warmer wind shifting to the south and southwest and we're just kind of tapping the uh, the warm up. There is another front. It is starved of moisture, not expecting much locally, just a real slim chance of a shower on Friday doesn't really cool us down much. And then as we go into the weekend here, uh, we're still talking about a lot of sunshine around central Indiana and warm temperatures. Operation football looking like this. Uh, yeah, going to be beautiful. I mean, we're right now we're going for sunshine, clear conditions and temperatures falling into the 60s by the time we get into the fourth quarter. Now, speaking of football, uh, let's talk about it. We're going to Saturday here. We've got uh, Purdue up in uh, Madison against uh, the Badgers. IU with a 3.30 kickoff in Evanston and your Ball State. Uh, Two o'clock kick against Western Michigan and weather pretty quiet. Just a little bit of cloud cover occasionally uh, with the front, but otherwise it looks like it's going to be great for all three games. Now, I want to focus on uh, Jacksonville. There's a stalled frontal system and wouldn't you know it, uh, we're going to have some showers, I think, during the game there. So the uh, field conditions might be a little suspect in Jacksonville with an onshore wind. And it looks like right now a pretty decent chance of rain. We'll adjust that. Hopefully the heaviest stuff will stay south of the stadium uh, on Sunday. But right now there's a pretty decent shot of rain uh, impacting the Colts and Jags game. We'll keep you updated on that. Seven-day forecast in terms of rainfall locally. Not a whole lot of opportunity here. Other than that slight chance on Friday, slight chance again on Sunday. That third front, which comes in on Sunday, that will knock us back down close to normal conditions here. 40s back at us Monday and Tuesday with sunshine continuing well into next week. Angela is going to join you coming up here at the top of the hour.